I've had the pleasure of talking with Mark Westgard from WS Forum both online and here recently at WordCamp US, but to be honest, I really never gave his Form plugin much of a shot. Now it wasn't because I wasn't interested, but I already had a lifetime deal for Fluent Forms, so it never really made sense to search out other Form plugins. However, after catching a few videos online and seeing WS Forms Black Friday deal, I decided it was time to give it a real shot. And man, I sure am glad I did. In fact, I've gone through my starter site and completely removed Fluent Forms in favor of WS Form going forward. Now there are about a hundred different things inside WS Form that I think are really worthy of making a video on, but today I thought we'd start with front end post submission forms. Now this is something that's traditionally a little tricky to do, but WS Form has created the ultimate cheat code for creating these types of forms. In fact, it's basically a one click solution to get it all done for you. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you would traditionally create a front end submission form and then I'm going to show you the WS Form cheat code way. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick around and let's get started. All right, so we can see here inside of ACF, I've created a new custom post type called listings, which you can see here, and I've created some field groups to go along with that. I've also titled that listings, and we can go ahead and take a look at what all's in here. So for this, we're actually gonna be listing different companies, kind of like a directory. So in here, I have the company description, a URL, an email, a phone, a logo, and address information. As you can see, the type of field I've used has varied too because I wanted to try to make this as complex as possible to really show you the power of this basically one-click solution. So here we can see we've used a text area, a URL, an email, a number, an image, text. We've kind of mixed all these things up. Now, before I can go and show you the cheat code way of getting this done, I think it's important to understand how you traditionally need to set up these front end submission forms. So we're gonna go ahead and do all of this manually first, just so you can get a sense of how impressive this feature is. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on WS form. We'll click on add new, and we'll start with the blank form. Now to create a front end submission form, essentially what we need to do is map all of our form fields to all the fields in our post type. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this manual form, just so we remember which one's which. And we need to start dragging in all the fields that associate with our custom post type. Now I'm just gonna do this based off memory, but you probably wanna have two screens open so you're making sure you're creating all the correct fields for all the fields inside your post. But here we'll go ahead and just drop in a text field, and I'm gonna call this company name. We'll drop in a text area for our company description. And I'm not gonna bore you by doing every single type of field in our custom post type, but let's go ahead and at least get in an email and URL field. This way we can see how all these different field types work. The last field we need to have inside of this is a submit button, so I'll click on that to make sure that this form can be submitted by the user. Now, we can go ahead and save this We'll go ahead and publish it and we can preview it on the front end. So I'm gonna hide this debug console, which we'll talk about a little bit more in a minute. But here you can see it's created this form with company name, description, email, and URL, and our submit button. But we haven't mapped any of these things to our actual post type yet. To do that, we actually need to click the actions button here inside WS Form. Now by default, WS Form is gonna come with three different actions, saving the submission, showing a success or failure message, and sending an email. Now we don't really need to send an email or save the submission for this testing purposes, but I do wanna keep the message on there so we can see if our form submission was a success or not. What we need to do to map this form into our custom post type is create a new action. So here I'm gonna click on the plus button and I'm gonna change this action to post management. Now, once that loads in here, we can do all the configuration needed. For the post type, this is gonna to default to a post, but we actually want to map this to our listings post type. And for status, I'm gonna change this from published to draft, just to show you that the user could submit this and it be sent to a draft state on the back end, so it doesn't automatically get published to the website. Now, here comes the fun part. We need to start mapping all these fields. To make this a little easier to see, I'm gonna expand this section here and we can get to mapping all these fields. Here in this first field mapping section, I'm gonna click add row and we're gonna map the company name to the post title. The rest of the fields inside my custom post types are ACF fields, so we're gonna do that here under the ACF field mapping section. Here I can click the plus button and I can map company description in our form to company description in our post. We'll do the same thing for our email. 
we'll map that to company email. And for URL, we'll also map that to company URL. With those mapped, we'll go ahead and hit save. We'll minimize the sidebar again, and now we can preview this form. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in for our manual form submissions by calling this manual company. And we'll just fill it in with some website ipsum. We'll call it kyle at manual.com and we'll give them a URL of manual.com. We'll go ahead and submit this form and you can see that it's gone ahead and given us our success message for the submission. So let's check and see if it actually populated this form in the back end. Here, I'm gonna go to our listings and we're gonna see we have manual company, a new post inside of our listings set to draft. If we open this up to edit it, we can see it brought in and mapped in the company name to the post title. It mapped in my website Ipsum here to the description. It successfully brought in the URL and the company email. Honestly, this is all pretty easy to do, but we would have to go through and map in the rest of our fields, and it did take us about five minutes to get this far. And that's where this cheat code comes into play. WS Form has made this incredibly simple to do it all automatically for you. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Here, I'm gonna click on WS Form. We're gonna click Add New. And this time, instead of starting with a blank form, we're gonna use one of their post management templates. Here, when I click on that template, you can see we have our blank template, post and page, but it's also brought in templates for all of the custom post types on our site automatically. In fact, here you can see our listing custom post type, and you can see it's got the ACF logo on it showing that this is recognized that there's advanced custom fields fields inside here. So let's go ahead and click use template here and WS form is automatically going to create this form for us. Just like that, it's gone through and recognized all the different fields inside of our post type and then created fields inside of our form to match. So here we have title. That's going to be the title of this company. We'd probably want to call that company name and we can customize any of the things inside of here, but it does give us a great starting point. Now here it brought in the slug. We don't really want the users to determine the slug. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that field for company description. It did use a text area field, which is great for the company URL. It did bring in a URL field and you can see it's mapped these ACF fields to the correct fields inside the form as well. So let's go ahead and just save this and test it out. We'll hit preview here and we'll take a look at the form that's been automatically created by WS form. Now, if you've tested forms before, you know how annoying it is to go through and fill all of this out with dummy data, but this is where the little debug console inside WS form really shines. Instead of having to add all this manually, we can just click the populate button and it's gonna fill in all of these fields with appropriate information. You can see here in the URL field, instead of putting in random text, it actually formatted it like a URL. Same thing here for the company email. Now, phone wasn't a specific type, so it did just put in two numbers, but we're gonna go ahead and just put in our own fake number there, and we're gonna have to upload some kind of image manually. I'll just upload this image here from my downloads folder, and we can change this zip code to the zip code here in my town of Richmond. We'll go ahead and hit submit now. And if we jump back into the back end and we go to our listings, we can see this new listing has been created and it's gone ahead and mapped all of these fields perfectly to the fields inside of our post type. It did all of this automatically with the click of a button. If we go back into the form here and go into our actions, you can see it automatically created this post management action for us. We'll go ahead and maximize this again, and we'll scroll down and see that it's gone ahead and automatically mapped all of the ACF fields to all the fields inside of our form. Now, of course, just like with anything else in the form, you could always customize this however you want. Like we don't want to have the slug in here, so I could just delete this out. But the fact that it created all of this for you automatically with the click of a button in seconds is absolutely incredible. There are quality of life features like these post forms being automatically generated as templates, or even the little debug log that allows you to auto populate forms littered all throughout WS form. Honestly, I've been blown away and spent the whole weekend playing around with it. If you'd like to see some more videos on WS Form, there's a great series by WP Builds. It is six different episodes, but it goes through a deep dive into every single feature inside the plugin. 
Kevin Geary's also put together some great content on his channel as well. And if there's anything in particular you'd like to see me tackle in another video, leave that down in the comments and I'll definitely consider doing it. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to make sure to catch the next one, go ahead and hit subscribe and we'll see you then.